Welcome back to Station Ears. All right. Well, it's been a little bit busy uh, getting a bunch of frames and stuff made, starting to shell out the bare bones of the initial greenhouse area. And, uh, yeah, it's been very busy. And there's something else that I want to do. I've been making a bunch of things. I've made a whole mess of copper cables, iron sheets, iron frames or steel sheets and frames, excuse me. And let's see, I need something else, desperately. Here we go, kit locker. 10 grams of iron, but it is well worth it because it is a good size storage locker that I can keep stuff in instead of having it thrown all over the ground around here. So let's see, how about, Oh, for crying out loud. Are you kidding me that this thing has to be snapped onto... that it can't just be snapped onto a frame oh wait a minute okay they've got a second one now they got a small one I want the large one so I think that means I need to make another kit locker so as to combine them and make myself a large locker I don't want the small one at least not from off the get-go. I've got a whole mess of stuff thrown all over this place that would be much better organized. Oh, for crying out loud. There. Get off it out. Kit locker. Large. Or just kit locker, I guess. Yeah, now I don't have to have stuff thrown all over the floor here. Steel frames, steel sheets, iron sheets, the kit battery, some heavy coil that I used on the solar panels over there. And assorted other various and sundry things. I've got a bunch of stuff in my pack. That's not my pack. This is. Yeah, there. But I anticipate actually using that stuff. Okay. Um, right, the glass sheet. I could have sworn I made up a bunch of kit wall. In fact, I sat here making about 30-some kit wall. Where the heck did I... Oh, come on. You have got to be kidding me. You see, this is why I should have gone ahead and made the locker first. And then start putting stuff into it. Kit wall, 20 of them. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Composite wall. Rotate the mouse wheel, and I got composite window. That's what I'm going for. Rotate it around. And then rotate it that way. I am going for a simple 2x2 two two room to start with. Because it's going to be easier to get an atmosphere in here. For the growing of food products. Alright, now this thing. 
Now I need plastic sheets. Where are the plastic sheets? Yeah, you see what I mean? There's stuff thrown all over the place. All right. Now I need glass sheets. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get these last two. All right. Be sure to get the ceiling ones. Because it does need to actually hold atmosphere, which is why these frames are built up already, because that's where the airlock is going to be. All right. Okay, now up here, kit door. And I'm using the glass door variety. Because I understand it's better to deal with. All right. Okay, let's see. Like so. And thus, uh, whatever. I may be wasting or being wasteful with cable. I don't honestly care right now. I just want it to work. It's one of my big things that uh, the most important thing for me is that a thing works. Whether it's beautiful or super efficient is immaterial compared to whether or not it functions. All right. Now. Okay, that one's empty. And the thing I'm looking for, the gas sensor... Kit sensor I used over there, yeah. Okay, so I need another kit sensor. Uh, kit lights, kit IC housing, elevator consoles. Waste tank, caution. Yeah, I'll get there, I'll get there. The waste tank is now 75% full. So, yeah, here we go. Kit sensors. I need some iron, which is all over here. All right. Kit sensors. All right. I'm going to make up about three of those. Just so that uh, I'm covered. I should only need two, but what the heck. All right. So in here, in this room, I will need gas sensor. Yeah, like that. Okay, this and that. An active vent. Put that over here. 
the idea is I want it as far away from the sensor, the gas sensor, as I can. And here, the console. And apparently, it's a thing where if uh, it won't let you build initially, put it up towards a different surface and then back, and it might actually work. So, let's see. Kit console. Alright, now I can go back to my wires. glass sheet okay wait a minute give me my cables again unnecessary but Eh, uh, why not? Okay. Data disk. No, not yet, not yet. Where is my label error? I want to label inside and outside doors so that it's easier to pick out which is which. Turn that on. Hydroponics outer airlock. Hydroponics inner airlock. Turn that off. Instead of throwing it on the ground, I can stuff it in there and know where to find it. Okay. The active vent. As I understand it, for the time being, I can use a simple dodge like this. Where I've just got a length of pipe coming off of that thing. Oh. There. All right. Now, if I put this in here. Oh, I haven't run power in here yet. You see? You see what I mean? Yeah, okay. All right. Cable junction. bunch of straight it occurs to me it would be a good idea to have one of these area power controllers 
between the battery and that room right there just simply to isolate it kit power controller here we go oh it wants solder I don't have solder I don't suppose there's one in here that could be made a little bit cheaper no okay turn you off close you throw the steel back in there all right i'm not going to be making power controllers okay it was a good idea shot down by the hard reality that i don't have solder just yet I just run this line over here. And I should be able to just Do this oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, like that there. Now come down. Uh. Come on, get in there. Like that. Yeah, I know. If it's painful to watch, I'm sorry. It's also painful to do sometimes. Who knows, maybe I'll have the sense to cut some of that out. All right, now, I should have power in here on everything. Oh, yeah. Um, steel sheets. Okay, now, I think I'm going to want more active vent. Oh, kit wall cooler, kit wall heater, how much does that cost? Iron, gold, and copper, okay. Come on. It's amazing how easy it is to get stuck on something. Yeah. Okay. So we start out with a wall heater. I have a feeling I'm going to need it. In fact, I know I am. I mean, I can get a 
decent amount of mileage from just greenhouse effect with the sun heating but uh it's going to be needed a little bit because it's freaking cold on mars overnight low is like 75 degrees below zero c minus 75 c that's cold all right now while i'm at it with the pipe bender how about um active vent get me a couple of these because I'm going to need to be able to uh, well I'm going to want one Okay, that's upside down. I'm going to want one over here to pull air out of the room. Well, actually, no. Wait a minute. The one coming out of the room is going to have to be over here. And over here, I have one sending air into the room. Yeah. And Yeah, okay. Um Okay, well, that's just a valve. That's not what I'm going to want. Anything over here plumbing wise? Okay, there's a little left pipe over here. I don't think I need any of this. And the red canister is mostly consumables. Yeah. All right. And yes, somewhere along the way I've managed to print an extra furnace. <laughs> Fortunately, not a horrible I a horribly horrible thing. Okay. I don't think this is... No, that's not what I need. Turn it off. Close it. What I need is over here. Pipe bender. Um, because I'm going with plumbing stuff. Kit pressure regulator. Let me have two of those. Okay. And honestly, I'm probably not going to need those right off the get-go. All right. Um... I need to get power wired for this stuff. Power low. Of course. Fortunately, one of the things that I did in the off-camera time was to come up with some more of these large batteries. Because they last the longest of any of the portable batteries. Yeah, and the station battery is full. How about that? All right, so. All right, we're, oh, yeah, I'm going to need power cable if I'm going to. All right. Close. 
close that, turn this up. Oh, for crying out loud, when it rains, it pours, huh? Air tank low. Well, I suppose it had to happen sooner or later. Where is... There it is. One big oxygen tank. Now, all I have to do to recharge my suit air tank... is to take this white tank, ignore the error warning, put it in there, repressurize it, get it out, put it back in the suit. I now have 6,600 kPa of suit air to keep me going for a while. And uh, if I look at the waste tank, it's at 3,100. They can go to a bit over 4,000 kPa. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah. Okay. What did I have to... I had to run power over to... Oh, you are kidding me. I have to deconstruct. This. So that I can run the wire. out through here come on yeah now I can resolder that or re -weld it. Oh. I'm going to end up taking it down again, aren't I? Yeah, you know why? Because that was wrong. Because that's what I needed. There. Much better. Now, take the cable. Junction. Like this. And this can just be a straight Oh for crying out loud, how do these buttons for rotating the cable orientation 
I'm sorry, they're not intuitive. Okay. I know I'm going to need more stuff on this wall, but you know something? I think what's up there for right now will do. So I'm going to get some... Where's my steel sheets? Or did I just throw them on the ground again? Yep. I did. All right. I'm just going to weld these up so that this room will now hold pressure. Theoretically, it will be capable of doing that. All right. So, turn the console on. All right. It didn't come on. What's the deal? Because I brought power in, but I didn't hook it up to anything. Isn't this a matter of absolute, unparalleled genius? So, I do this. Cable junction. Do that. Cable straight. And cable corner. Like thus. Cable straight. Break that. Cable corner. Okay, we have power. The door light, the door panels are lit up. Okay. Console on. Okay. All right. Outer airlock. And then inner airlock. The gas sensor. And I'm going to quickly rename this. Oh, come on. My typing is not what it should be today. Airlock active then. So that I know which one of these to select. All right. Now, if I take this out, cancel pressurize, now we are in here, and that was the active vent it was trying to talk about, but let's see, for the right moment, for the moment, right this second, I'm going to take my Waste tank. Waste tank critical. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going to open that up. Close it now that I've depressurized it. Pop it back in there so that the warning will go away. And I have just loaded this room with a bunch of CO2. Now I'm going to cycle to exterior.
Okay. Now, let's see. Ah, uh, handheld tablet. And close that and open this. And cartridge Atmos. Okay. Why do I keep hitting that? I don't know. All right. Tracker cartridge can go in there. And now we see we've got 95% CO2 for the Martian atmosphere, 3% N2, 1% O2, and 1% X. And the X is actually 0 0.06 mole. So by itself, that is not actually really genuinely horrible. It's not great, but cycle to interior. Pressurizing with air that got pulled out from inside. And cancel pressurize because it's not going to be able to go all the way. Okay. But the temperature is a killer right here. 40 C, which is the reason for Yon wall heater. Get that out of there. Close this. Close that. Okay, good. I can see the battery meter from here. And what I'm going to do now is uh, bring the temperature in here up. The pressure is actually too low. I want to get pressure up and I want to get the temperature up so that I can actually do something with growing some food-like stuffs in here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, crap. I wasted that tank, that waste tank. I completely wasted it. You know why? Because that is not airtight. No. Which means I have to cycle to exterior. Cancel depressurize. Go out here. Get the steel sheets. Weld up this frame. Now it's airtight. Put that away. And since I'm right here, I'm going to swap out suit battery. And I'm going to take this large cell. And make sure to run this handheld tablet off of that instead. All right, but I don't need to run it right now. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, now. The next thing I want to do is arrange for running CO2 into this room and where I'm going to get the CO2 is from the atmosphere. All right, let me just throw that in there for right now. What I need is here kit atmospherics, I believe it is. Come on. Come on. A 
but it's the atmospheric kit that, that can be a air conditioner or a filter. Obviously, I want the filter form of it. Kit atmospherics. Okay. Okay, 20 copper. I'm going to want at least two of them to start with. And of course they don't stack. So, I have no idea how much footage I have recorded right now. But, uh, I have a sneaky feeling that I have gone way over half an hour, especially filter low. filter low. Yeah, right, I know. Filter low means that one of the suit filters is at zero. If I take that out and just fling it out there, I think I can recycle them later, but for right now... <laughs> And the pipe bender, one of the reasons I wanted it, aside from other things, is the fact that that's where you make filters. So, yeah, I will make up a few more filters. Uh, what I'm going to have here is these filter units out here somewhere. And I'm going to pull air, just ambient Martian air in. And I'm going to filter CO2 and send it into that room. I'm going to filter... Uh, uh, water into a tank somewhere because hydroponics is going to want water. Not necessarily a ton, but it's going to want some. And, uh, well, let's see. A quick look at this little thing right here. The portable hydroponics. Gas canister, canister, and it's already got 266 kPa of water in it. Excellent. All right. So... Initially, this is what's going to be growing my food. Oh, I hate this way. Oh. Yeah. Okay, for those that were going to yell at me about it, I spotted it. And the airlock floor, surprisingly, is already welded, as is the ceiling, roof, whatever. Yeah, okay, I did spot it. This needed to be welded up in order for the airlock to be airtight. Now it is. And now that room is airtight. Okay, great. So out here, I'm going to have two of the filtration units. One will pull, or maybe just one for right now, and uh, just to have it pull CO2 out of the Martian atmosphere. The waste line, I can send off to a vent and just dump it, at least initially. Later, it will go to other filters to pull everything else out of, but that's later. Right now, I just need to get this room full of CO2. So, yeah, I'll, what I'll have to do between episodes, run power over to that active vent, get piping from that active vent out here so that I can, uh, and from that active vent, because basically what I want to do is I'm making room for a more sophisticated air system later. Right now, I'm just going to have this one pulling from the pipe 
the output of a filter that's going to be yanking CO2 out of the air so that the CO2 will all go in here. And that's because the hydroponics will take the CO2 and be making oxygen, at least while plants are growing, and so on. But, uh, yeah, we'll be getting to the rest of this next episode, wherein I certainly hope to be able to actually start growing food. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here. <laughs>